Good to have you back with us on the cafe. One of the most loved Andrew Lloyd Webber musicals, Evita, is set to hit the stage this Saturday at Auckland's Bruce Mason Theatre. And we're so lucky. We have stars of the show here, Heather Wilcock, who plays the complicated Ava Perron. And also joining her is Andrew Pupp, who's a friend of mine. Uh, thank you so much, Andrew and Heather, for coming in today. It's lovely to have you here. Thanks for having us. Now, for those of you who maybe aren't familiar with the musical, tell us a little bit about the story, Heather. So it starts off, Ava is... Uh, 15 years old and in a small country town in, in Argentina and she decides that she's had enough of her little raggedy life and swans off to Buenos Aires and then it goes on to tell the story of um, her rise to, to power in, in the politics and until she dies at the age of 33. Yeah, she died pretty young, didn't she? I, yeah, I no, think spoiler that, alert. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Uh, she doesn't live very long. Uh, the thing about this musical, though, is that everybody is going to know the music in it, that's for sure. Yes, yes, definitely. All the favourites. Don't cry for me, Argentina. Yeah, uh, you were doing a pretty good job there uh, in the break. Do you want to... Oh, <laughs> um, OK, let's just try and deflect that. Andrew, thank you very much. Good pumpkin song. No, not really a pumpkin song. <laughs> and what do you think makes this musical so appealing, Andrew? Because you're obviously... Obviously, a younger generation. This musical's been around for years. Yeah. You would have come into it. You probably heard a few of the songs. But what do you think makes it so appealing? Well, that's the thing. I didn't actually know the whole story going into it. I kind of learnt it as I was going along. And like you said, yeah, like a younger generation. But the thing is, there's a lot of like glitz and glamour and like the dancing. And it's actually, it's kind of like a history class, but with like sparkles all over it. You know what I mean? Like they've made it really interesting. So. I think it appeals to like everyone. A history class with sparkles, I like. Yeah, and great songs, great songs, oh, too, yeah. isn't it? Very memorable songs. Yeah. Okay, Andrew, let's let's talk background quickly because I met you first when you auditioned to be in Titanium years ago, uh, the Edges boy band station. That was a huge success. Uh, what have you been doing since then? Well, I mean, I've just been. I came back from America, so we were there for uh, seven months, which is a very long time, and uh, did some amazing things. Sang at Madison Square Garden, which was like one of the highlights of my life. And um, I actually recently oh, I came back from the States and decided, you know what, it's time for a bit of a change. So I'm going to take a bit of a different path. And I decided to leave the group, uh, the band. So here I am now in Evita. Excellent stuff. Yeah, and what about your background? Because I know you've done this role before, haven't you? Yes, yeah, so I did this in Wellington at the end of last year, which was very cool. Um, but that's... Yeah, are, you, I'm, are you an Auckland girl or yes. a Wellington girl? I'm a local girl. I'm from Oriwa, up yeah. on the hibiscus coast. Is that your natural hair colour? No, this is a wig. <laughs> is that your natural hair? <laughs> they did make me go blonde, though. Did I did. They? Yeah, I had to strip my hair right down. It took about 18 hours. Gosh. Yes. And let's talk about the show. How many people have we got involved? What are we going to see if we head along? Oh gosh, I think there's about 40 people in the yeah. cast, but so many cast and crew, you know, so many makeup, and we've got about 12 dresses alone just to get all the quick changes done for everyone. Um, but yeah, like you said, great music. It's one of the classics, mm. you know. You, you know, the cast is big when they tell you to everyone really needs to make sure they wear deodorant. <laughs> 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 there's a lot of people, so everyone just they made a special note of that. That's a so. great memo to have. And <laughs> also, um, Heather was telling me in makeup when we were up there earlier on that she kisses an awful lot of people as Ava in this, so it has to get a special lipstick. I do. Otherwise, all the boys are going to be walking around with giant red kisses all over their faces. No, actually, I do want to bring this up. Scandal. Sure. Scandal with this upcoming show. Um, how hard was it for you, Andrew, to explain to your girlfriend that you had to kiss somebody in the show? Wow. <laughs> how did she react? Because I heard she wasn't that happy about it. Wow, well, where did you hear that? <laughs> um, I mean, it was pretty interesting. Like, obviously, for me, being a singer and a recording artist, you're not really required to do things like that. So it was never kind of on the table. So when I was like, oh, I'm going to be in the show and I'm going to be acting now, and, you know, that requires you to do other things... I was like, that kind of means I have to kiss this girl. And she's like, oh. <laughs> I mean, you know what? That's really payback because she obviously works for a radio station. Exactly. And Megan works on ZM. And so she mm. has to do some really weird things with her job. Yes, it's about it the time that you yeah. started getting a little bit back. The thing is, though, she doesn't end up on the couch. I did. So. <laughs> no, I no. Can't think. We'll leave it there. I don't know where no. we're heading <laughs> Um, honestly, so much fun, guys. Thank you so much. And if you want to see Heather and Andrew in Evita the show, it starts this Saturday through to June the 18th at the Bruce Mason Theatre. Just go to ticketmaster.co.nz for details. It's a fantastic show. Definitely worth checking out.